This is one of the estimated two and a half million vehicles rolling off Thailand's assembly lines this year. Ford's regional president, Matt Bradley, praises the country as a highly successful model for manufacturing. Thailand, I think, has made a concerted effort uh, from government policy in, in the last 15 years to plan to support the automotive industry. Uh, Ford's been in Thailand about 17 years, and just since 2007, we've invested over a billion dollars in our manufacturing and, and product cycle plan footprint in Thailand. The automotive sector is now Thailand's third largest industry, comprising 12% of the country's GDP and employing 400,000 workers. Bangkok's clogged roads attest to the success, with sales accelerated by government tax rebates to first-time buyers. But can these vehicles rival those made in Japan, Europe, or the United States? Honda Executive Vice President Pitak Ritisarekorn says the Japanese automaker is making high-quality vehicles here at a competitive cost. For Honda, the cost efficiency is one of our key strategy. So we have established the good relationship with the strong and uh, the highest quality part supplier, uh, global supplier and local, board, uh, local suppliers. Some automakers operating in Thailand import critical parts, including engines from overseas. However, GM powertrain plant manager Jennifer Bigelow says the American automaker not only assembles its engines on site, but also sources their components in Thailand. It is definitely cost effective. You know, we reduce uh, shipping costs. We develop partners here that we can then work with and develop, you know, that partnership to help improve our, our engine and our product. Manufacturers must also tailor their vehicles to meet regional demand, designing components such as these four-cylinder diesel engines, which take advantage of the widespread availability of affordable diesel fuel. GM executive Michael Perez. The product engineering teams do extensive research in each of the markets in which we operate to make sure that we are developing a product that is suitable for not only the environment but also the driving habits of the markets in which we're selling vehicles to. Thailand's dominant auto production industry led by Toyota and other Japanese manufacturers faces obstacles even though it exports vehicles beyond Southeast Asia to Japan, the Middle East and North America. Expansion is hampered by a shortage of labor in a country with nearly full employment. That has led to opportunities for women who comprise nearly one-third of the workforce at some Thai auto plants. And when extensive flooding in 2011 shut down manufacturing plants and parts suppliers, upstart Indonesia briefly overtook Thailand in production, ushering in a rivalry certain to continue for many years to come. Steve Herman, VOA News. Rayong, Thailand.